Okay, for part B, we observe that 3 minus x is actually the negative of x minus 3. So essentially, uh, the first term and second term are the same, except the sign. So we can write the first term as 5 over x minus 3 plus x plus 2 negative of x minus 3 now. And then you make addition become subtraction now plus negative of x plus 2 over x minus 3. This is because a minus a over b is the same as a over minus b is equal to negative of a over b. And because of this number property, when you blue, do a minus sign. So actually, you are having same denominator now, you are subtracting now 5 over x minus 3 plus negative of x minus 2. Plus minus x minus 2 now. So now, at the numerator, it's actually 5 minus x minus 2, which is actually minus x plus 3, when you book them, so let me uh, I write a few steps, one more here, it's 3 plus 5 minus 2. Which is equal to minus x plus 3 over x minus 3. Are they the same? Yes, you find that because you can pick up the negative sign of x minus 3 become x minus 3 now. Right? You pull out the you pick out minus 3 because minus x plus 3 is a three is the same as actually uh, 3 minus x, okay? I also can the negative of x minus 3. So in the end, the x minus 3 cancel. So you have negative 1 in the end. So this is how you do the part B. In this case, the least common denominator is x minus 3, alright? The least common denominator, just to highlight here, least common denominator is x minus 3. So actually, you don't need to do much for this example.